y'all. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me today, you guys, but I am just like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place. But anywho, hi, you guys. Hello. Hey, girl. Hey, what's going on? I am talking about one of the palettes that I hauled in my last haul. I wanted to go ahead and test it out today, kind of see if I like it, see how it performs, see how it works and whatnot. And the palette that I'm talking about today is this C Color Unisex 3 eyeshadow very, very palette. Cute, as you can see, it's a nice size palette as well. Now this palette is supposed to be a dupe for the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette. And as you can see, very, very large size pans, exact same exact color same scheme, placement of the shadows. There is a mirror in here as well. And this is what this palette looks like. Some of you might not be familiar with the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette, but this is basically what it looks like. <laughs> Very, very pretty. Me personally, I really love these colors in now, this, this palette. Now this palette from C Color, like I said, is supposed to be a dupe for the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette. And when I first saw the Androgyny palette, I was like in love because I love these colors. I love the story. I love the arrangement of this palette. Sometimes you can't really get a feel for a palette because of the arrangement of the shades, but the arrangement of this palette really, really calls to me. I love it for fall, winter, all year round, whatever you want to do. Now, this palette only has two shimmer shadows in here, which is this one here and this one here. And the rest of these shades are matte shadows. Now, this palette doesn't have any names. Yeah, I'm just noticing it doesn't have any names on it, not on the palette or on the back. On the back, it does show the ingredients here. It does have the shelf life and it does say that it is cruelty free. Now the shelf life on here is 12 months. I did purchase this palette from Amazon for $14.99, which I think is actually a great buy for this palette. You can see the size of the shadows are nice and large. Now let me go ahead and do some swatches and then I'll continue to give my thoughts on this palette. swatched as you can see this I would say the one swatch that kind of gave me pause was this what is it this shade here which is the orange type shade in the palette it is quite powdery and a little bit dusty when you swatch it but honestly you are able to build it up so let me just go ahead and put another swatch See, you are able to build that color up. It's just a matter of packing the color on. So even though I didn't swatch the best, you can build it up. Now, let me just get closer. So this is the whole palette swatched, you guys. As you can see, these colors are very nicely pigmented and you can definitely create some nice fall looks with this palette. I really, really like this color story a lot. Now, while we're talking about these swatches, let me just give you some of my thoughts on the shadows in this palette. Now, of course, I did create this look that I'm wearing today from this palette. First off, let me say, this palette is very pigmented. These blues, extremely pigmented. I barely tapped into it and when I placed it on my lid, it was just like, pow. <laughs> so if you are interested in these blues, trust me, they are extremely pigmented. Even this green shade here, this light army type green, very nicely pigmented. This burgundy shade, nicely pigmented. I really just wanted a light wash of the burgundy on the upper portion of my lid and you can see it there just kind of a hint of it. So I just gently tapped into it and kind of blended it out just to kind of make it you know really fade into my 
eye look. So all of these shades down here are very, very highly pigmented, you guys. So for this to be a lesser expensive dupe palette, the quality is bomb. Now, the shimmer shades, I went in with this lighter shimmer shade on my lid today. It's actually kind of hard for you to even tell. Let me see if you can. Okay, there it goes. So you can see it a little bit better now that I've turned my hand. But I went in with this light, light gold very shimmer very shade over here and placed that on the inner portion of my lid. And although it's very, very pretty, it's a little bit more subtle than I would like. It doesn't have that extreme pop to it that you look for with a lid shimmer. But it did get the job done, I think, pretty well. It does show a nice brightness to my lid. Um, I didn't use any, I did use this shade here, this light tan, to actually set my lid after I put down my MAC paint pot. So I did actually use that. It worked nicely to set my lid. And the rest of these shades here I did not use this time around, but I definitely look forward to doing a burgundy look with these shades here. So just my initial thoughts on this palette, you guys, I like it. The cons for this palette is there is kick up, okay? <laughs> there is kick up. Not a crazy wild amount of kick up like subculture, <laughs> not like that, but there is kick up, which I'm not surprised because with palettes that have a lot of pigment like this one does, you do oftentimes get more kick up than usual. And I mean, it's a $14, $15 palette, so, you know? But like I've said in the past, I don't care about kick up, just give me the pigment and make it blendable. And that's another thing about this palette that I do like is they, the shades did blend in very nicely together. I'm really noticing that even with lesser expensive palettes and in comparison to my more expensive palettes using the mac paint pot painterly pot or whatever it's called and i have the color soft ochre it's like if i use that on my lid almost any eyeshadow i can blend it out nicely and it works for me and the pigment is there so i would definitely suggest if you haven't tried the mac paint pot try it to set your lid so anywho i'm getting off topic but my basic thoughts on this palette i think for $14.99 it is an excellent buy it has a mirror in here it's a very nice size you get a decent amount of product the pigment is amazing it blends out nicely um and like i said it's definitely a palette that you can create some gorgeous fall looks with so my only cons would be the kick up in the pan. And that's it. <laughs> so, yeah, I would definitely suggest this palette, this Unisex 3 palette from C Color. This is what it looks like. You can pick this up on Amazon, like I said, and I think it's a great buy. They also have some other palettes that, that are, are palettes. on Amazon listed and also their website. C Color has a website as well, but they do have a lot of other eyeshadow palettes that you can check out and choose from. Some will look familiar because they are dupe palettes. I haven't tried them out, you guys. This is the only one that I've tried out, so this is the only one I'm talking about, okay? <laughs> but I like it. I like it a lot. I see myself using this in the future. No problems. So... With that being said, if you'd like to see how I created this look, and let me warn you, I don't know how this footage is going to come out prior to me editing because I edited in a different location with different lighting, so I don't know how it's going to come out, you guys, but hopefully it'll be decent enough for me to just basically show you how I created this look. So if you'd like to see that, then stay tuned because it's coming up next. <laughs> 